DYKB Kids Reading Program is a program designed to provide a platform for children to bring the stories they love to life. Kids will have an audience reading along with them while working on skills such as improving speech and live performance skills. Come tune in to our Facebook Live sessions each week to read along with us and stay after for the fun, interactive, critical thinking activities that bring every story to life. To become a member and have the spotlight in our live readings, sign up for a DYKB Youth Membership at dykb.org slash membership. We can't wait to interact with you, whether it's on screen or in the audience. Hi everyone and welcome back to the DYK Reading Program. My name is Isabel and I'll be your host for today. Thank you all for joining us for another fun and exciting read. Please take the liberty to stick around to the end. Uh, today we have our special guest, Helene. She'll be reading a book called Too Much Glue by Jason L. Um, and with that said, everyone, let's give a warm welcome to Helene. Thank you. Too Much Glue by Jason. Our art teacher says, too much glue never dries. She reminds us, glue raindrops, not puddles. And she warns me, Maddie, too much glue. But my dad and I love glue. At home, we make glue glasses, glue mustaches, and even glue bouncy balls. Mom is happy to help. So during art class, I find the fullest bottles of glue I tip them over and squeeze, bloop. Glue squishes from the orange tips and slops all over. Sequins and googly eyes around in gluey lake. Then it's time for the most important decoration. I belly flop onto the table and roll around, letting the glue and everything else cover me. Time to go on the drying rock, drying rack, I announce. But when I try to pull myself off the table, I boing right back down. Too much glue, Maddie. Too much glue, my teacher squawks. This is bad. There's only half an hour until the end of school. And all I can do is lift my head, wave my hands, and wiggle my feet. The rest of me is blucky, stucky mess. Can somebody help me, I call? While my teacher breathes into a paper bag, Noah shouts, let's lasso, let's lasso him. Izzy, Noah, and Owen get to work. Soon, I'm roped from all sides like a rodeo pony. But when they try to pull me out, snap, the, the lassos break leaving colorful octopus tentacles everywhere. The glue is too strong, and now I'm a clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky mess. Don't worry, Maddie. We know what to do, shout Luke, and Grace across from, uh, from across the room. Is that a tow truck? I ask, as they reel the contraption over and stick a plastic hook into my suit of glue. My friends pull one way and the glue pulls the other. Creak, click, creak, click, until kaboom, the tow truck explodes and plastic bricks rain all over. Now I'm a clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky mess. The school nurse bursts in and checks my temperature, 98.6. Sorry, no fever. I can't send you home early. She dabs and pats me like I'm spilled juice. But the more she blots, the more the glue spreads. Soon, I'm a melted mummy, clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky mess. Then the principal comes in. He takes one look at me sticks a note on my belly and leaves. Seeing my teacher huffing and puffing like a train gives me a, a great idea. 
I whispered to Owen and Haley. The final bell rings and everyone freezes except Owen and Haley. It's the biggest one we could make, they shout, furiously flapping a huge paper fan at me. Then just as I'm thinking, I'll be note on my tummy, melted mummy, clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky glue boy for the rest of my life. My plan works. Something my teacher said could never happen, happens. The glue dries, but I'm still stuck. And now I hear footsteps. The door starts to open. My father and some carpool parents walk in. Dad comes closer and inspects me. Then he peels me off the table, glue, yarn, bricks and all. He spins me around, no one makes a sound. Then dad smiles, Maddie, you're a masterpiece. He holds me up for everyone to admire. My friends all cheer. The car ride home is interesting. Mom is speechless when dad brings me in the house, but he knows just what to do. Well, kiddo, dad says, some beautiful things only happen once. And this is one of those things. He gently grips the dried glue in front of my neck and behind my collar and peels me open like a ripe banana. Now it's dad's turn to glue and he steals up the sides of me, shaped work art, shaped work of art. I bet it will take all the glue in the art room to make a U-shaped work of art, dad, I say. Dad laughs. Then he glues a big magnet to the back of my pocket and hangs it on the fridge. During dinner, we sneak peek at my masterpiece. And after dinner, we take the principal's note very seriously. The end. <laughs> wow, this... This book is such a mood. Oh, you did such a great job. Yeah, Thank there you. were so many turns on this. Um, what was your favorite part about it? I think I have two favorite parts. It was the whole stringy, bricky, clingy. I loved reading that part. Yeah. And, the, and the second one, it, it reminded me of when I used to be in like high school or elementary and I did arts and I got the glue everywhere. Just mm -hmm. like good times. <laughs> Me, right now, when I'm doing the activities, I get hot glue on my fingers and it burns so bad, but at least he's not using hot glue. Exactly. And um, I think my favorite part for me was like when the nurse was like, nope, no fever, can't send you home early. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, but the, it, the teacher in the background was all like panicking. She was on the floor. She was like, did you see her? I don't know if you saw her. Yeah, but it, it just goes to show, like, no matter what happens, you can make a good time out of it. Like, no matter the, the situation. Dad was like, the dad was, like, not even mad. Like, he was like, oh, my God, you're such a beautiful, uh, um, what was what did he say, art piece? Yes. Masterwork? I don't know. Masterpiece. Masterpiece, there you go. Positive <laughs> the energy. I know, and they hung it. I can't even imagine if that ever happens in real life, like a kid, like get stuck with the glue <laughs> and then how the kids were all like helping him trying to get yeah. out like inventing things i would have been like okay that's your problem <laughs> but i i'm going to my house <laughs> all about teamwork and the positive energy all about yeah. the teamwork well thank you for reading and sharing your book with us it's honestly one of like my favorite books now i'm going to read it to my sister <laughs> and show it to her um thank, thank you, you and me. yeah definitely see you next time bye <laughs> Well, everyone, that will conclude uh, the read for today. Now we're going to be moving on for to our activity. And what we are going to be doing is a egg carton flower. So I hope you all enjoy and get inspired to do it yourself. Enjoy this activity. I'm going to be making a flower um, egg carton. Anyways, what you're going to be needing is uh, tissue paper, yellow tissue paper. I'm going to be using blue paint, a paintbrush, scissors, and a glue.
good. Putting the flowers. Once they're done, you get your egg carton, your MTV carton that I cut out. And then you cut off the little excess part, but cut it off like in an oval shape. You're gonna make like a little, you're gonna twist as you cut. So it comes out like a little oval shape. So you do that in every corner that you have. So once you have your little bumps, in between them, in between like your little bumps, you're gonna make like a triangle cut, a triangle cut. So you go first cut like that. And you see, you see, it's like a like a missing tooth. And you do that in between the other ones. Okay, you need to be really delicate with the be care very careful with this garden because it can destroy very easily and won't come off. So now that you got your flower shape, you guys can see that. Now we are going to get our paintbrush and get ready to get a little bit messy because we're gonna be using water and paint. So you get your paintbrush wet. Get your paint, and now you're gonna go all over. So it's like watercolor. You're trying to make your paint like water. So if you have watercolor paint, that would be better. But since I don't, I have to be putting in it, putting it in water, and then my paint, and then water again, and paint. We're gonna do the outside since our inside is already painted. And I'm doing blue, the color blue, because my mom's hair color is blue. So I'm making her blue flowers. But you can use any color. And it's gonna get a little bit of wet. So because you're putting water on your carton. But if you wait for it to dry, at least like five minutes, it'll get stable and hard again. Right. So then you open it a little bit and you show it like this. It's really dark, <laughs> but it's like this. Perfect. Now we're going to get our yellow paper and just cut a lot of like little strands. So I'm going to cut this. Like that. And just cut a bunch of strands. I want them to be really small. Now we get our flower right here. And we're going to put some glue in it. Some, some glue. Get some paper. And be careful with the hot glue. And then you got your flower. <laughs> and I have other ones here that I can made. Do the same process. Get some glue. Put it in the center. Get your expert. So there you go, your flowers. Now we're, I'm going to glue them to my branch that I found outside. So I'm going to put 
get my little thing, my flower. Put some glue and just pose wherever you want. There's no right place. Let's know. Ah! I guess I didn't put a lot of pressure on that one. Let's put it right there. Where was it? It was right there. Ooh, stand up. I hope you guys enjoyed this activity. Honestly, it looks really good. I hope my mom likes it. I'm pretty sure she will use it as a centerpiece in our table. <laughs> or just put it right next to my other plant. Ah, I fell down again. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and thank you, and see you next time. Bye, look at my fingers. <laughs> Bye. Well, that was one uh, interesting activity that I made. My dad actually really loved it. He saw it outside. I, I had taken pictures of it, and once it dried, it really, like, made a really really interesting color but i hope you guys all enjoyed that activity and hope you guys come back with, for us for another fun and exciting activity next week and i mean not next week thursday this thursday and uh i'll be passing everything off everything off to our program administrator renee boyce so thank you all and see you guys next time bye Thank you, Isabel. Hello, my name is Renee Boyce and I am the program administrator for DYKB Kids Reading Program. Thank you so much for tuning in to this great book called Too Much Glue. It was a really fun story. I enjoyed it a lot, similar with Isabel and Helene. And it was a really great story. And unfortunately, we were unable to bring A Fly Went By tonight, but I hope you have enjoyed Too Much Glue and our wonderful activity, the wonderful activity, the egg carton flowers. That is such a fun activity. It was so good to see it uh, here live on the readings. And if you have enjoyed this live readings, we have them every Tuesday and Thursday from 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And it's designed for kids between the ages of five and 12 to enjoy a live reading here right from Facebook where they read along with the book that they love and share it with everybody here on Facebook. And if you're interested in becoming a reading participant or know anyone who's interested in becoming a reading participant, please visit www.dykb.org slash membership for information and to sign up. Uh, you're going to be purchasing a DYKB youth membership to be a reading participant that includes your name on a sponsored donor list, access to the reading program, updates on projects around the world that your donations support, as well as live updates on the DYKB Facebook page Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific time. We hope to see you there. We hope you become a reading participant and please be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and join us for our next exciting raid. Thank you so much. DYKB Kids Reading Program is a program designed to provide a platform for children to bring the stories they love to life. Kids will have an audience reading along with them while working on skills such as improving speech and live performance skills. Come tune in to our Facebook Live sessions each week to read along with us and stay after for the fun, interactive, critical thinking activities that bring every story to life. To become a member and have the spotlight in our live readings, sign up for a DYKB youth membership at dykb.org slash membership. We can't wait to interact with you, whether it's on screen or in the audience.